speaking to your family and friends. Or when you just want to review for yourself, you can review all of these. All praises. All praises. Read that again for me, officer. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Unto who? The children of Israel. Sister Shantese, who is the children of Israel? The children of Israel are the there you go. And you can group them up into three groups. Uh -huh. Manasseh. Yep. Zebulon. Yep. Yep. You say Yashaka. Come on, Nathalie. Oh, it's a car? Yeah, that's a, that's an ISIS. Yeah, we got you. Nathalie. Yep. So. Those, all 12 of those can be summed or grouped up to the three things. The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what the world has named us as a whole. Because they don't, if you look at Judah and Benjamin, what they call them? American Blacks and what? West Indian, but still Blacks. So the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? How y'all young brothers doing? Listen up, we teach you who you are to say the Bible. That's not Jesus. Right? That's what they lied to you about. You don't find that in the Bible nowhere. Look over to your left for me. That's what you find in the Bible. When you read for yourself, this is what you will find. All right? Stay and you will learn more. All right? Read that for me. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Unto the children of Israel, who you said was what three groups, sis? Uh, the children of Israel are the 12 tribes, right? Yep. And they're the so called what? Three groups. So called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. So, like, if you look at it real closely, you can break them up into groups, right? And that's what our oppressors, our conquerors, our enemies have done to us. That's what they did to us. They broke us up, they scattered us into these subgroups, to, to these subhumane levels, to chattel slavery. That's what they did to us. Read on. And bid them. That they make them fringes and the borders of their garments. Read that again for me. Fringes and what? And bid them that they make them fringes and the borders of their garments. Fringes and the borders of their garments. So, sister, Shantice, like I said, you was wondering what that was? That's called fringes. Fringes. So, if you look at the bottom of all our shirts, you will see fringes. Right? Read on. Throughout their generations. Throughout their generations. What does that mean, Shantis? Throughout your generations. There you go. So, to this day, and then after us, if we have kids, what should be on our clothes? Fringes. There you go. Read on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. So if you look real close, you'll better see blue. And it can come in different variations. You got royal blue, navy blue, as long as it's blue, right? Your fringes can be any color. As you can see, we match it. You know what I mean? You got to be fly with it. You still come out clean with the salt of the earth. That's how we do it. But as far as the ribbon of blue, normally you can rock a lighter blue if you got a lighter shirt. If you got a darker shirt, you might want to rock a darker blue. That's fine, all right? And this is the reason for the fringes. Read on. Verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. That you may look upon it. That we may look upon it. Can you see these fringes, sister? You can see them. It's not in your mind. It's not in your heart. You can physically see these fringes. Read. And remember all the commandments of the law. What are they to help us do, sister Shantis? Why do we need to do that for? There you go. Do we got problems today? Why is that? There you go. There you go. So these fringes are to help us to remember to keep the commandments. Thou should not commit adultery. Thou should not murder. Thou should not steal. Thou should not lie to one another. That will change our community as a whole, sister. That change these ghettos and bodegas. That change all of that, right? And that's why we come to teach this word. Remember what we read in the beginning. You should know the truth, and the truth shall do what for you? Set you free. So you learn, my sister, that you are an Israelite from the tribe of what? Gad, right? Then you learn the law on fringes. I'm going to get you some more laws. Give me Leviticus 11. Listen up, listen up. 
We ought to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who you are according to the Bible. That's you right. are the children of God, right. that's of the Lord. That's you right. are the lost tribes of Israel. Right. You are God's chosen people. Right. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, uh -huh. saying to them, Speak unto the children of Israel. Unto the children of who? Israel. And we said that too, Sister Shantice. Yeah. All praises, and who are the children of Israel? There you go, yep. And they can be broken up into how many groups? Three groups. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and... Look at the sound one. Start with the N. Look at the sound from right here. Blacks, Hispanics, and... Native Americans. There you go. Yes. So all the 12 tribes can be broken down to three basic groups. The so-called blacks, whether you're American or you're West Indian. Okay. Hispanics, whether you from South America, from the top, Brazil, all the way down to um, when you get to Natali, you go, you, yeah, you get into Brazil, Argentina, Chile, from top on down, and then you hit the islands where you got so-called Puerto Ricans, Ephraim, man. You got Manessa, so-called Cubans. So, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? Yeah. Read on for me. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. So the Lord is about to give us a dietary law. So he showed you who you are the sin of the Bible. Now we're about to show you what God demands of you, sis. How he demands that his children should live. Right? Because are God's chosen people special? We special? Or what makes us special, Shanti? Okay. So I'm going to show you what makes us special, what makes us greater than these other nations is the law of statutes of the Lord. Right? Give me that. Psalms 147, verse 19. I'm going to show you something, sis. Because today's society, everybody claims to be a child of Christ. I'm a child of God. I'm saved. I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. Everybody claims to be that in this world. Whether you so-called black, whether you so-called white, whether you so-called Spanish, everybody believes in uh, this image right here, which is a false image of Jesus. And we're going to get into that. Go ahead and read that for me. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Pay close attention for me, sister. Read. He showed his word unto Jacob. 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 Who is Jacob, sis? I told you earlier. Who is Jacob? Jacob wrestled with his son. He wrestled with the angel and got his what changed? Name got his name changed to what? Name. Right here for me, sis. I know it. I know What's your nationality? Uh, you are a what? Mm-hmm. Does the 12 tribes of what, sis? Israel. So Jacob's name was changed to Israel after he wrestled with the angel. So he wrestled with the angel, then the angel gave him another name, Princess of the Powers with God. Right? So his name before was called Jacob. That's what his mother named him. Read. His statutes and his judgment. Read from the top for me. He shows his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Unto who, sis? Israel. Read. He have not dealt so with any nation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought the whole world can be saved. I thought God so loved the world. Read that again. Verse 20. He have not dealt so with any nation. Uh -huh. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Read. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord for that thing. Praise ye the Lord. Christ did not come back. Christ is not coming back to save the whole world. Christ did not die to save the whole world. God did not so-called love the whole world that he gave his only begotten son for everybody. Right. No, he loved the world of Israel right. that he sent his son back to redeem and to save us. Right. Why does the whole world need saving? They don't. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark.
We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.